Hey everybody, the Viral here, and welcome to The Last Dead End. Special thanks to Jandusoft for providing a code, it's much appreciated. Now this is an interesting game. From what I've read, it's clunky, English isn't the best, but overall is enjoyable. But it is made by, I'm pretty sure, Azerbaijani, by Johnny, I don't know how you say it, um, developers. So that might be why the English is fairly rough. But let's, let's see, you know, it might just be corny and clunky in the same way that the original Resident Evil is. And I mean like the PS1 Resident Evil, not the remakes. Uh, new game. Fortress Walls. In the middle, in the middle centuries, Baku was surrounded by two tiered fortified walls separated by a moat. I didn't get to read that. So yeah, the, the English might be a bit rough. We'll be able to make sense. Mind oh, I'm in control. Oh, I thought that was a cutscene. Damn. But it's whatever. As long as the overall experience is enjoyable, then who cares? That's my philosophy. Can I... Oh god, can I... Can I move quicker than... This? <laughs> Now, thankfully, the game is a, um, it's like a first-person shooter, kind of. Whoa, spooky. So, it's not a walking simulator. Oh, no, the light's going out. You're just going to make it harder and harder to see. Are you kidding me? But no, I'd actually say this is, like, rough around the edges in the same vein that Daymare 1988 is. Whoa. Whoa, it's not even connected. Spooky. What? What were those fingernails? Man. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so spooky. <laughs> what the hell is happening? That was a really big bird. Maybe. <laughs> Seemed bigger than I thought. Wow. Okay. You good now? I really hope I can move faster. God, I can't move. Look at how bloody slow I am. Oh, trash. Is there like a button I press? Nah, I pressed everything. Oh. Okay. I mean, considering I've just been attacked by- oh god. Yeah, I've just been attacked by a long-fingered woman. Um, I'm not really in a rush. Although, I am wondering what my objective is. Am I trying to find a dead end? I'm gonna get grabbed by- what the hell happened? I was say, am I about to be attacked by a long finger lady again? Wait, isn't this where I just came from? Yeah, this looks like the dead end from before. Oh no, it's a different place. I just really don't understand why I'm so slow. Oh. Can I run? I was not expecting you to sound like that. There we go, that's the kind of hustle I wanted. Move me fast, please. Whoa, whoa. I've got a really shiny face. <laughs> Yanadag. Burning mountain in Azerbaijani. Is a natural eternal flame that burns since ancient. God, give me a prompt to press a button to move past the dialogue. Or something. Wait, so that was just a bad dream? I'm very confused. <laughs> Head of the project. I also don't think it was made by very many people. But, you know, when it comes to games like this, I never really shit on them anyway. Make a few jokes here and there, but it's never meant in mean spirit. Oh, it's never meant um, maliciously. I still want to. I want to know what the the story behind the long finger lady is, and why she only had three. I'm pretty sure she only had three long fingers. Hmm. 
Yeah, instead of the full four. Five, if you count the thumb. I think this actually takes place in... Azerbaijan. The last dead end. I think so, I'm not too sure though. Saba... Saba Yog Castle was built in the 12th century. 70 years after its completion, the castle disappeared under the sea as a result of an earthquake. I will just read as much as I can when it comes to those. The only thing that's slightly bugging me is December is not capitalized. I'm in control again! Oh, I have an objective. Ah! Wait, is this... can I not pass this because the floor's slippery? Uh, yeah, if I fall over, I might hurt myself. Oh. Hi. Am I... I'm really small. <laughs> Am I, like, inhabiting a child? My head meets the desk. I'm so small. I also... Ah, oh God, the turn speed's gonna be awful. Find the conference room. What button do I press to jam a stick at my ass so I can, you know, move quicker? That's my only issue, is I don't move. Whoever I'm playing is has no gusto. He just wants to take it all in, nice and slowly. Maybe once the game actually begins and I get a gun or whatever. Maybe then. I thought that was like a Domino's thing. It looked like the Domino's logo for a, a distance. Yeah, maybe once the game actually begins and I get a gun or something. Or weapon. Maybe then I'll be able to actually move. As if my life mattered, instead of just meandering away, uh, away or around the place. Where am I going? Oh no, the dreaded wet floor signs. Well, I suppose that means I can't go that way. The turn speed's really slow, though. I probably missed some stairs. Alright, well, we have our first objective. Find the stairs. Why does it sound like I'm hearing a typewriter? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's the dreaded, uh... Wet floor signs. Are there stairs literally anywhere? I just love how there's wet floor signs everywhere. Oh, this is where I came in. God, I really wish I could move quicker. It's my only complaint. Is I... Don't have any sort of speed. Oh, pressing B brings up the objective. Oh, did I miss some, like, stairs that were really obvious? I probably did. Gotta check every doorway. Like, I can see that- oh, wait a minute. Text encyclopedia was added. I don't know what I just did. Okay, I just got an achievement for say- and it says the whole encyclopedia became available. How? <laughs> what did I do? Did I input the Konami code of this game or something? All I did was press B a bunch. Press B to win, I suppose. I mean, it's not really going to matter if I can't find the bloody stairs. Yeah, it seems like it's up upstairs, but I can't get past these. See? I mean, I can tell what it says. It's wet floor. Yeah, I'm not that stupid. I'm stupid enough to not be able to find stairs, but, you know. Oh, I can press Y to open doors, of course. That's where what I've missed. There's a specific door I have to open up. I didn't know that. Usually in games like this, when it comes to a door, or if you see a door that's shut, you can't usually interact with it. Oh, so what, do these actually say anything of worth? Computer lab. I mean, to be fair, there's so many doors, but all of them seem to be locked. One of these magic doors will open. It's probably right next to the front desk. What is this? Server room. Nope. God damn it, everything is locked. I probably do need to go back toward the beginning. Whatever, now I know I can open doors. I had no idea that was a feature. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I guess I'm just used to doors that have... that uh, doors. This door is closed. I like how it's only popped up after I've done that like five times. Where's this lead? HR department? Ooh, yeah. Nope, also locked. No, I'm used to games where they usually, um... <laughs> door is closed. 
But if it's a door you can go through. Accountant. Then it's already open. <gasps> oh my god, I can go in. Yes. Press Y for manipulation and rotate an illuminated object. Well, that would have been nice to know sooner. What's, what's, what's illuminated? Very noisy. Yeah, there ain't no chance I'm going to be able to read these. God, what a waste of space that is. Wait, it mentioned manipulating objects that are illuminated. Is that? Nope. Alright, well, whatever. Who cares? I now have a door I can open. Can I go through here? Don't mind me, just coming through. Nope. It's locked. Okay. It probably is just a door that's right at the beginning of the game. I can't open that door. Was it this door all along? Oh my god, it wasn't. <gasps> Whoa! So now I'm just on a quest to find the correct door. I wonder if there were other doors in that other room where the um, wet floor signs were. Pretty sure at this point I've tried every door I've come across. Sadly, I just can't go past the uh, wet floor signs. Oh, well. I don't understand the encyclopedia thing. Encyclopedia locations, Azerbaijan. Okay. And we have facts. Wait, how do, how do, god this is awkward. Oh, I only have the one location. But I got a, I'm so confused. Return to menu. Resume game. Yeah, it's just that I got the, um, an achievement for unlocking everything. So you're just very confused. I'll be honest, I don't have a clue what I'm doing. Maybe these are illuminated. Or not. It's so confusing. It's just corridors and corridors with doors in. But all the ones that would lead to where I need to go, don't open. Oh, on the plus side, it does tell me if a door's closed. Oops. Although, telling me it's locked would be better. They're all just going to tell me this now. The star is closed. The star is closed. I wonder if I just speak to the guy at the desk. I never really thought of doing that, to be honest. I mean, why is the interaction button? As far as I'm aware. It is weird that I've only come across one door I can open. And it, it, it mentioned manipulating objects, but... It's like stuff that illuminates, but everything illuminates. Okay. I have no idea. We'll admit the tutorial of the game is viffy. <laughs> Can I talk to you? No. Well, I'm stumped. I've checked every door. I've gone everywhere and I can't proceed. But I tried over here. Ah, there's a door here. Highly doubt this leads to anything, but... <gasps> Finally! It was the one door I'd missed. Ugh. Oh, these are interesting stairs. <laughs> it's more like a ramp. Well, there we go. We found it. After ten minutes. Woo! <laughs> Again, this wouldn't have been so bad if my walk speed was faster. Why the hell am I just meandering along? Oh, I can see my feet. Oh, press B to see the current girl. Yeah, I figured all that out when I was trying to open doors. Yep, more locked doors. I wonder if there's a, an achievement for... Really? You need... Seven wet floor signs just to make sure people don't go to where there's wet floor. They have a lot of signs to give out. Or to place around. So far, there's been like 20. 20 wet floor signs. I mean, whoever's wet the floor has gone absolutely crazy with them. So this floor's slightly wet, this one's also slightly wet. I'm guessing there must be people in these offices. Maybe that's why the doors are locked. Because <laughs> that makes sense. Oh well, I, fa I found the conference room after far too long. How great we have more doors. Old archive. Sure. Or not. What was this one? Secretary. On the second floor? <gasps> oh! 
God, it's always interesting when I can open actually open a door. Oh. Was not expecting to see a person here. Why am I so damn small? Like, I'm stood up. And I'm barely taller than this guy. His computer blue screened. Yeesh. Tough break. Yeah, of all the places it can blue screen too. When you're on the job. Another door that opens. We are making strides. Look at all the wet floor signs. Well, I mean, it's called storage. We're in the right place. <laughs> I'm just wandering around this place for reasons unbeknownst to me, Pepper. Quite weird that the game's not kind of tried to give me a shove. I wonder if they're like the devs. Or something. Right, well, we still need to make... Oh, there's a conference room. I remember my objective. It's just getting up here was the difficult part. Hooray! You can skip cutscenes. Hello, Bahar. Farhad? <laughs> Such a surprise! What are you doing here? I was not expecting voice acting. I was asked to consult you concerning the ancient book found at the excavation. After all, I am a specialist in classic languages. With very pearly white teeth. So, did the authority mean you? When they told me about a specialist? Well, all right. Let's go. The book is in the big hall of the library. Oh my god, I've been here like four times. It is so beautiful in here. I should know, I've looked yes, around enough. It is beautiful. Furniture of the 19th century is collected here. Yeah, even the movement seems not rough, but old school, I guess. Like she turned 90 degrees and then started walking. Really? The book is very strange. Take a look. You're gonna There's throw it? No. Inscription oh. in some language on its cover, and inside, it's empty. <gasps> empty. Wow. It is in a Vestin language. Oh, what now? What the hell is a Vestin? <laughs> it's empty. <laughs> yes, it is really empty. Oh. Oh great, it's a cursed tomb. Tome. <laughs> tomb. Oh my god. Oh, is she that long finger lady? Where was this book found? Nearby, at excavation of Baku Khan's palace. May I borrow it? Yes, of course. What are you so frightened of? No, I was not frightened. I was just... Uh, just... Something seemed to me. What? What? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to decipher what the game is trying to tell us. If you are going to the ruins, then take a flashlight with yourself. It's dark there. What? That's a flashlight? Oh, we have glasses. What the hell? You're wearing glasses already? I'm so confused by what's happening. No, these are not usual glasses. Uh, they're experimental. They have functions which uh, help me with my work. I have come here to write the scenario for the movie about our old city. Okay. I'm gone. And very happy. Hooray! Can I now move? No, I still move as very, very slow. Well, leaving the building is something I can definitely do. On the plus side, I now... Oh my god, I can run! Shit! It was RB all along. Whoa! That looked pretty badass. <laughs> what the hell does the 92 mean? Is it my battery power? Alright, cool. Many USSR famous movies set in Istanbul and Tehran, such as Diamond Arm, Tehran 43, and Or Amphibia Man.
We shot in the old city because of its unique oriental architecture. Oh, if only I figured out I could run. That would have made things so much better. <laughs> I'm just slogging myself through the corridors. Bihar is not changed almost. Although, she became even prettier. Yeah, the English is very... off. I'm in third person? Whoa! Hey, at least with this I don't seem like a toddler. Yeah, I'm actually properly proportioned. Well, I can see how tall I am and stuff. Like, compared to a door. That's about the average height. But I'd be like halfway up the door if it was first person. I don't understand how I'm getting all this text from Encyclopedia. Good day, officer. You look awfully familiar. Almost like I saw you in that building. Hmm... Quasit. Are we heading toward the last dead end? Most Gruppu. Gruppu. Well, it's it though. It's gonna be very hard to follow a story when you can't really make out what they're trying to say. To be fair, the subtitles make more sense than the actual voices. Or like, than what they're saying with the, uh, with the VO. Oh. I thought I had to go over here. There's a lot of dead ends. I'm so glad I don't have a stamina meter. Or do I? Wait a minute. Oh, I can't use smarty if I'm in third person. Oh! Well, the more you know. Hmm. What the hell's that say? No idea, it's a number. I mean, I, I can make out that much. I could not tell you what it says though. The hell? Well, I like how the city looks, at the very least. But no, it was like the, um... With the f what he said as he came out of the building. It's like the city has, al has changed almost. But the subtitles made a lot more sense while it's happening. Number three. Oh, this isn't where I need to be. Where am I going? Get to the ruins. Oh, okay, the ruins are probably where shit's gonna get real. Guy, I, I just wish that I figured out how I could run. I really hope I don't have a stamina meter. To be able to run forever. And I think it's just the control scheme's weird for sprinting. I pressed all the usual buttons, which it was left stick click and then L1, uh, LB, and that didn't work. So I just assumed there wasn't a sprint. Kind of glad I figured out there is one though. It's oh my, you're slow otherwise. Painfully, <laughs> painfully so. It's always the worst when your default speed is excruciating. It's just one of those things like I want to get to where I want to go. Quicker than this. Oh, dramatic music. Where the hell are the ruins? Is it just going to be a random ass entrance down here? Oh, I thought this was going to lead to it. Well, that'll blow me. I never get to ask anybody about it. Oh. Hey, it's this guy. God, he gets around. We've literally just seen him. Text for Encyclopedia was added. I like how it just keeps telling me this, but I don't know what I'm doing to get it to be added. Maybe if I get to a part that's noisy when I'm in the menu, that's when I'll read it. I'm interested to see what they say. I'm just hoping that the English is... better, and not slightly broken. Again, I'm not going to dog on them, because I'm pretty sure English isn't... their first language. Or their native language, I guess. So. It would be a bit, bit dickish of me to, you know, criticise bad English when it's not even their native language. Am I going to fall in the well or something? Press Y to continue. What the hell? It is unbelievable. I am holding real Avesta and, and not a usual one. Well, that matched up with the subtitles. Genus Ennis and name. Genus Ennis. Yes, my ancestors were Zoroastrians and and my surname is Novras. But what is it to be the chosen? The war between good and evil is coming. 
But what does that have to do with me? Long finger lady. Oh god. Oh, I am gonna fall. Really? <laughs> Zarathustra, a number of medieval Muslim historians considered Zoroastrian prophet. Zarathustra was born in Atrapatine, on the modern territory of Iranian Azerbaijan. Alleys of old city. Time is unknown. I love how I got pushed into a well by some bloody crows, of all things. Ah, oh, now the time is getting... Oh, it's getting darker. How the hell did I end up down here from being pushed down a well? No signal. Well, aren't I just lucky? Oh, there we go. We have some noise. I can read stuff. So we have Azerbaijan. I am going to try and read these. But I, I think the English in this isn't too bad. So Azerbaijan Republic is a country located in the eastern part of the Caucasian region. On the shore of the Caspian Sea, belonging to Middle and to the Middle and Near East. Near East? The population is approximately 10 million. Azerbaijan holds the 95th, uh, 90, 91st place in population and 119th place in territory ranking in the world. The capital is Baku. Azerbaijan is the first democratic republic in the Muslim world. Azerbaijan was part of the USSR until 1991. The toponym Azerbaijan derives from the name of ancient nation, Atropatin. According to many theories, most of the population living in this territory BC were Zoroastrians. Therefore, the name of the country derived from the word Azer, meaning fire. Other theories suggest that the name of the country originally comes from the word Az and Er. In Turkish languages, Az means good, lucky, faith, and Er means brave man, firekeeper. Baku! Oh. Baku is the capital's the capital of the Azerbaijan Republic, located on the shore of the Caspian Sea, has approximately 2 million inhabitants. It's one of the biggest and ancient cities of the East due to its territory, population and antiquity. In the middle of the 19th century, Azerbaijan became one of the birthplaces of the oil industry, and the first oil tankers were built in Baku. At the beginning of the 20th century, nearly half of the world's oil reserves were extracted here. The name of the city has an ancient meaning, City of God, which bonds with fire worshippers religion and fountains of oil and gas. In Zoroastrianism, word Baga means God, Son. Four celestial elements of Zoroastrianism, fire, water, earth, wind, air, are considered to be connected in Baku. In the Egyptian Book of the Dead, Baku is mentioned as Holy... Is that Bahau? A city of unquenchable fires at the coast. How do I move this down? I don't know. I'm trying to, but I, d I don't know. Crap, I can't tell. Oh, there we go. Aha, there we go. Uh, unquenchable fires at the coast of the first sea. Baku being the center of Zoroastrianism, one of the ancient religions in the world, is also mentioned in Avesta, the Bible and Gospels. From the beginning of the 18th century, Baku is mentioned in Persian sources as Badku, wind-pounded city. Apparently the city was named because of the strong winds in Baku. Ah. Oh. We have the old city. Oh, crap. So, is that Ichar? Rish... Rishar? <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> Meaning inner city or castle. is a historical architectural reserve in the capital of Azerbaijan, Baku. Surrounded by the well-preserved fortress walls, it's one of the most ancient and monumental parts of the city. It began to be called Old City after the oil boom in the 19th century as the city ceased to fit within its previous boundaries. The territory of the old city was already inhabited during the Bronze Age, approximately during the first century, and it became a small port city. Trade and craftsmanship kept on developing between, between the 8th and 15th centuries. So therefore, after the earthquake in Shamaki, Shah Shervanshah named Baku the new capital of the country. In 2000... Ah, oh God. It... It... Char... It... Char... Ha... <laughs> along with the Maiden Tower and the Shervanshah Palace was included into the UNESCO World Heritage List on a small site of only 22.1 hectares. Hundreds of historical monuments, four of which are national treasures and 28 of which are regarded as World Heritage Sites, including mosques. mosques. What's that? A caravansaries? Baths, etc. More than 1,300 families live in the old city. Well, we can also find several museums, dozens of hotels, hundreds 
of retail facilities, cafes and restaurants. Plenty of movies were shot here, for instance famous USSR titles as Diamond Hand or Amphibia Man. I have a feeling this game was made to kind of teach people about Azerbaijan, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just with all the information they're given about Azerbaijan and Baku, it doesn't seem like it's setting up the stage for the game, it's actually kind of giving you some insight into that area, or that location. So Baku Khan's palace. Baku Khan's lived in a palace located on the territory at the left of the Shemaka Gate. After the occupation of the Baku Khanate by Russia in 1806, the Khan Palace housed a Russian military garrison, which included a military commander's office. There used to be a flowering garden, with a swimming pool within the palace. Only a gate and a restored small mosque remain from this majestic compound. The bath located near the fortress walls is still under the, gr under the ground. In 1985 to 1986, archaeological excavations were carried out on the Baku Khan's Khan Palace's territory. Underground architectural structures alongside with a large number of samples of material culture and even a water pipeline were discovered during these excava excavations. Oh, okay. The only thing that's really awkward is moving this around. Oh, of course, I can't use... really? So we have characters... We have Fahad... It's like this facts, but I can't select facts. Wow, that's actually a lot of stuff. That's a lot of information for Fahad. Novrasov is the main hero of the game. He is a scientist, a specialist in the history and ancient languages. Fahad is 28 years old at the time of the main events. He was born in Baku and spent all his childhood in the old city, where he studied in high school. After a tragic story with his mother, he and his father moved from Baku to one of the regions of Azerbaijan. After graduating from school with honors, he traveled to California, USA as an exchange student. There he joined the University of... is that Berkeley? At the Faculty of Applied Linguistics. After his gradu graduation, he visited archaeological expeditions all over the world. Participated in excavations in the Middle East, searched for ancient cities in the Amazonian forests, etc. The American documentary television company, within the framework of a project on the history of fortified cities, decided to shoot the story about the old city in Baku and send Fahad back to Azerbaijan to write a screenplay for the film. Thus, Fahad had to return to his homeland, where he met the long